Welcome, dear ones, to another journey into the divine messages that God has for us. This is not just another video, it is a special moment where you will discover how to harness the power of faith to lead a more prosperous, joyful life, always in the companionship of God. With Him, everything is possible, and your dreams and desires will be fulfilled if you trust in His Word. Stay with us until the end to receive a special message that is not a coincidence but a divine appointment. Subscribe to our channel and share this video with your family and close friends. May God bless you, and now enjoy this divine message. You will leap with joy at the surprise awaiting you. Those dreams that seemed extinguished will be reborn, and the hopes you stored away and forgot will revive your existence, filling it with faith once more. You might have thought about giving up, feeling breathless from numerous conflicts that made you wish to stop moving forward. But today, I am here to offer you my love and bring you numerous gifts, great joy, and abundant blessings. I heard each of your prayers. You entrusted me with your heart and spoke to me of your despair and how it seemed you had lost the reason to continue. That's why I come running to give you my response. Accept it and live in my love. I hear you, I am real, and I am completely attentive to your needs. These words will lift your spirit and reignite the fire of your determination to move forward. Your journey must continue. Feel love to the point that no obstacle, health problem, financial crisis, loss of property, or unemployment intimidates you. I am here to ease your fatigue so you do not stop now that you are so close, so you do not give up on your destiny. I am the only one with the power, the will, and the knowledge to protect you. I know exactly what you need, and at the right moment, I will provide. From my heavenly throne, I receive the prayers and requests of all who intercede for you. Many people value and pray for your life and your family. If there is someone who despises you and no longer wants to walk by your side, let them go. Do not beg for company. Do not demean yourself to beg for the love of those who look down on you with disdain and arrogance as if they owned your being. You are mine. I do not want you to humble yourself to the point of crawling and crying for the crumbs of love from those who despise you. Your soul belongs to me, and if you believe in my word, I will drive away those who try to lead you to misery and do not love you sincerely. I will lift you in such a way that upon seeing you, they will cry in pain and regret upon realizing the immense value you hold in my eyes. You will experience immense happiness. They will tremble, knowing that by my side, you will have eternal life while eternal punishment awaits them. Blessed are you for listening to me. Never forget my words. Raise your head high, your worth is incalculable. I paid a high price for you. Promise me that you will not give up on your faith. Speak, write, and declare your love for me. Do not limit what I can do. I am capable of miracles far beyond what you can imagine. Do not be influenced by what others think. Do not believe that I only performed wonders in the past. I will not perform miracles in those who boast with my word, feeling superior. Some even invent miracles to demonstrate their false authority. My Holy Spirit does not join the arrogant. I can perform extraordinary and supernatural feats in the sincere and humble heart that knows how to wait and, upon receiving my blessing, knows how to value it with all their heart. I want you to be brave, one of the few who knocks on my door with unwavering faith. 
Many knock and insist, but deep down, they doubt that anyone is listening. Some give up just as I am opening the door, and others, deceived by the enemy, believe the cruel lie that I do not love them, that miracles are not for them. But look, if you come to knock on my door, it is time to expand your dwellings and reserves. Inform your dear ones, those you trust, that the blessing is on its way. Prepare yourself, but without falling into the trap of debts that will only sink you further. My blessings arrive complete, without interest, without additional debts. I have a gift here, so special, so unique that it can only be yours. Do not ask me for what I have already given to others because for you, I can give much more. Your faith and conviction are what I admire most. I can heal you completely. I can turn your house into a home of eternal harmony. I can mend those friendships and relationships that were broken if that is what you desire. With all pleasure, I will remove from your body any vice or habit that binds you. You were created to be free, not to live bound to things, substances, or human dependencies. Remember who is in charge of your life. It is I. My mission for you is not small, it is not only earthly. I want you to be with me eternally. If I bless you with health, intelligence, prudence, wisdom, and even material goods, it is because you have a mission to bless others, to bear much fruit. You are pure, forgiven, strengthened, and uplifted. I hope you have believed in me, that you are ready to see and receive gigantic and wonderful miracles. I want to see you dare. Tell me that you believe in me. You are not alone. I never abandoned you, even those people in whom you placed your trust and who walked away. I want you to know that I remain firmly by your side, loving you more each day, and that will never change. Live with the certainty that I am always here, ready to listen to you, and through the power of my blood, you have a direct path to my heavenly throne. Here, right by my side, you can bring your supplications, and I am more than willing to listen with all patience and love, just as a true friend would. I am not asking you to stop crying. On the contrary, it is essential that you cry and release. Free your soul from everything that burdens you so that I can fill you with my divine peace. But look, I warn you, after the tears comes joy, and your happiness will be immeasurable because the time for your great blessing has arrived. Now you can truly appreciate what I am giving you. Everything you have faced has shaped you for this long-awaited moment. The time has come for the windows of heaven to open and pour out enormous blessings upon you. In the calm of silence, you will feel my peace, knowing that it does not matter who leaves you because I am here with you to embrace and comfort your soul. You are evolving, strengthening day by day, getting to know me better, seeking my face and my words. This shows that you are faithful, wise, and intelligent. Tonight, when you close your eyes and reflect on my words, you will again feel the depth of my love surrounding and healing you. You know you are not alone. My presence fills your soul with joy and lights your path so that everything goes well. I am opening the doors for that wonderful blessing, but listen to the end. Do not interrupt me with your doubts. Let me complete my message. You have worked so hard, and I tell you, your struggle was not in vain. The reward for your faith and your suffering is here, within your reach. I know every step of your journey and understand your heart. 
you do not seek empty rewards like illusory riches, fame, or popularity. Your struggle is genuine, and you only long for what is essential to support your family, overcome debts, and support your loved ones. But I desire to bless you. That is my true will. I will open the windows of heaven and make blessings rain down on you, so abundant that they will surpass all your expectations. They will be so numerous that you will feel free from any oppression and finally breathe the peace you deserve. If you believe in me, rise with determination and get to work. If you need to rest, that is fine, but then get up and continue forward with all your energy and the joy that only your spirit knows how to express. Move forward without complaints or discouragement, full of enthusiasm and joy, even if things are not always as you expect or there are those who try to bring you down. Let's keep the plan even if the wind blows against us. You will face these challenges with a smile. Help those in need. If they are thirsty, give them water. If they need something more, extend your hand. But act with wisdom. Do not reveal your secrets or give room for betrayals. Show love, yes, but without forgetting your worth and all that you have learned from me. Do not mix with those who do not deserve your time. Speak no more than necessary. Ignore gossip. Those who try to bring you down will be frustrated when they see they cannot affect you. I will remove from your path those who should not be there. We still have a long way to go. You will continue firm with faith, willingness, and effort until I say it is enough. Then you will see. You will stand before a huge door, and on the other side, a world of wonders awaits you. Tell me that you believe in me. Let's go together on this daily journey, starting now. You are strong, brave. Have you given thanks today for the gift of a new day? Do not waste time. Just open your heart and let gratitude flow. I know what you need even before you ask me. Just trust and come spend time in peace. Reflect and give thanks for all that makes you feel grateful today, your life, your family, your health, the air you breathe, the food on your table, the roof that shelters you, my protection that surrounds you, the guardian angels ready for battle. The reasons to feel blessed are countless. You have a sea of wonderful motives to cling to life. It is essential to keep this in mind every day so that your mind overflows with positive thoughts and your eyes remain wide open, seeing my goodness in every step, feeling the firm assurance that I hold your destiny in the palm of my hand. I dwell in a grateful heart, in a heart that recognizes its need for me, that seeks me with faith and hope because it knows well that it is abundantly blessed. I see when worry knocks on your door, but that is normal. Do not sink into it. You carry the weight of responsibility, deeply desiring everything to go well, that there is no lack of provision in your home, health in your family, and that peace and stability remain unshaken. But also know there are cloudy days, days when gratitude seems to escape, and the enemy whispers lies, trying to fill your mind with fear, surrounding you with falsehoods, turning worry into desperation. But I am here, watching, waiting for you to raise your arms to heaven and declare those powerful words that make the enemy flee without looking back. Give thanks, yes, give thanks for your life, for your family, for health, for everything you are and possess. Your sincere faith and grateful heart are true shields that keep you standing firm and strong in life's adversities. Your miracle is near, just a bit more faith, 
and I will place the solution to that need for which you have cried so much into your hands. The answer to your problems is just around the corner, and you will feel a sense of security, light as a bird eager to fly high. You will no longer wish to be with people who mock you, nor will you try to please everyone. I will occupy the first place in your life and in your heart from now on. If you accept humiliations from others, you are despising the value I have given you. You do not need to seek conflicts with anyone or respond with anger. I only ask that you set boundaries for those who play with your emotions and trample on your happiness. I have given you a spirit of love, power, self-control, wisdom, and courage. Your heart is not a slave to fear and will never be chained by cowardice. They know you are different and possess something special. They desire to be like you but cannot. I offered my love and blessing, but they rejected me. I presented my word, and they chose their own path. While they persist in error, you walk the path of righteousness and receive abundant blessings. They, on the other hand, run toward an abyss of sadness and perdition. You must continue on this sacred path without looking to the sides or stepping back. That is why I only allow you to see what is ahead of you. Do not look back. I take care of the past. Extend your hand to the future. Give me all those plans you have. Seek my word and bend your knees every day to receive my instructions. From now on, only miracles and triumphs will come. Life is not easy, there will be struggles, but my love covers you, and my power always assists you. When problems arise, do not fear. Keep moving forward. The victory is yours. Respond with gentleness to those who oppose you. Do not let those who live in defeat sow doubts in you. They live in defeat by their own choice. I did not send any punishment nor make them pay for their mistakes. They drove me away from their hearts, and now they lack guidance. Pay attention to whom you listen to. My desire is that your faith does not fade and that you do not lose sight of who you really are. I gave you life and happiness, restored your purpose, and filled you with peace. I grew your wisdom. I ask that you focus on yourself and your family. Do not be troubled trying to please the world, running from one side to the other, full of worries, living the life that others impose on you, feeling bad if people do not accept you. If someone irritates you, take a minute and give me the opportunity to work on your character. Do not respond immediately when someone offends or confronts you, stealing your peace. When you respond, do so with kindness. A loving response can touch even the hardest heart. Let my Holy Spirit speak through your lips. Many are confused, living in constant agitation and venting their frustration on you. They see your clean, well-kept field. You are the reflection of tranquility and possess a serene character. They will try to provoke you until you lose control, but they will not succeed because I am your God and the King of your heart. I will tell you what to respond. Engrave these words, a peaceful response disarms the fury of the violent. You will be surprised by the impact and they perceive how much your character has changed. They will no longer see you sad, agitated, depressed, or irritated. Your face will be the mirror of my holiness, and from your lips will flow words that caress and heal the soul. Your decisions are prudent, and your achievements are outstanding. 
Those who strayed will also desire change and will come to you for answers. Tell them how you gave your life and were transformed, which is one of the greatest gifts and a wonderful blessing. More miracles are on the way, and nothing can stop them. Always keep your eyes ahead. Kneel every day and trust your paths into my hands. I will open the doors of success and happiness for you. Nourish your spirit with this holy and powerful word daily, and give thanks with faith for all the wonders that are about to arrive. I love you, never forget it. I truly love you. We admire your courage and faith shown until today. This fills me with joy for being your father and because you are my child. You are on the right path. Congratulations. Listening to my word and dedicating time to prayer benefits your soul, brings peace to your home, strengthens your heart, and ensures a life filled with victories and endless blessings. It is true that struggles will arise, the envious enemy flees from your persistence but sometimes returns to challenge you. Do not fear or be discouraged. Afflictions will always exist in this world, but my love and my presence are always near you. Call me with confidence. I am here to give you what you need and much more. However, Continue acquiring wisdom and all the necessary intelligence to care for and manage what I give you so that you close the doors to the devourer and do not relive those past times when you lost everything I had given you. Leave that behind. Learn from the experience and the lesson that bitter moment left you. Now extend your arm forward. Walk step by step, firmly and persistently. Do not rush. Walk with me in peace and without fear of what is to come. For now, you know that having repented of your wrong ways, I have forgiven you, forgotten your faults, and my Holy Spirit lives in you. You are guided by my love and will be led to the goal where you will receive your reward. Believe in me, you and your family will be blessed. Share my word. Bring comfort to an afflicted heart, and watch how the heavens open, pouring out health and happiness, knowledge and determination on you. That strength and divine touch that fill you with vigor are the reward I give to those who serve me. I love you immensely and am moved to see how far you have come. I observe your faith and your desire to move forward and I also cry with happiness alongside you. Soon, I will reveal the wonders I will perform in your life and in your family's life. At the perfect moment, you will reach the blessing, peace, and true prosperity. I understand you, my dear child. I understand you deeply. Just lay your head here on my shoulder and let your tears flow. They are precious to me, for I am gathering them in my hands. When the storm passes, with those same tears you shed, I will show you how much I love you. You and I will count them, motive by motive, remembering why you cried. When the clouds dissipate, you will see that neither your conflicts nor your enemies will be present. They will no longer exist. I destroyed them. I saw how they hurt you and tried to escape, but a mere look from me sent them to the abyss. Look how your tears now shine, transformed into beautiful blessings. Cry when you feel the need. Many of your tears will fall to the ground, and others will ascend to the heavens. From those that fall, you will harvest abundance and strength instead of misery, and those that reached me will transform into rains of grace. Stay here, I will not let you go until you feel the security you need. You cannot face the world like this. It is already day, 
and if you continue carrying that sadness, you will feel bad. Better listen to me until your mind clears, and when you realize that you have been freed from the burden you carry on your back and the fragrance of my presence touches your soul, tell me. I will evaluate the strength of your faith, and if you are ready to face life, I will let you know because I want everything to go wonderfully well for you out there. Return tomorrow, there is so much more I have to show you. I am granting you sensitivity and preparing you for a spiritual mission. Those around you perceive and see. I will greatly bless all who support you, your relatives and friends, but those who oppose will have to follow another path. Their emotions will heal, their wounds will disappear. Listen to me and continue listening. Accept the word I offer you each morning, and you will feel better. If your tears persist, they will be tears of joy. If you feel my peace and are receiving healing, stay here at my feet and keep receiving more and more. Today, a powerful miracle begins in your family. At this very moment, as you listen to me, you receive my power and my love. I am starting with you. I want to strengthen you because through your words, your hands, your eyes, your character, and your way of being, you will be the holy instrument for this beautiful miracle to happen. You are extremely important to me. I always tell you this with fervor. I love you and fervently desire that you spread this same love to those under your care. They cry out for help, and you, with unshakable faith, are their light. Today, tell them with all your heart how much you love them. Make them feel deeply that you understand them in every breath. Approach them, place your blessed hands on their heads. Pray for them with passion and dedicate all your love, resources, and time, especially to those you love and share your home with. Remember your parents, your relatives, those who distance themselves due to past grievances. Forgive them and call them, offering a welcoming and loving treatment. You will witness how your family will flourish, blessed and living in sweet harmony, reaping the splendid fruits of your fervent prayer and diligent effort. You will perceive that the home is a refuge after a hectic day, for it is the only place that offers genuine and sincere affection. There will be times when you will need to correct the crooked paths they take, showing them the right direction. If they value your love, they will accept your guidance, but if not, lift them up. I am shaping their hearts, and one day they will awaken, recognizing their mistakes, and I will straighten their crooked paths. When family challenges arise, seek me in fervent prayer and do not harbor anger or frustration. Those negative emotions are for those who do not know me. For each of your problems, I have a solution. For each of your doubts, I have an answer. I am the relief for your worries. Ask me for strength immediately when the temptation to raise your voice arises so that my Holy Spirit, who dwells in your heart, is not offended. Take refuge in me when your strength fails. Cry out to me, and I will respond. When you need a friend's shoulder, I will be by your side, extending my hand. In everything, I will guide you with love. I will envelop you with security. Your home will be an oasis of peace, abundant happiness, and immense provision. For me, there are no impossibilities. Come, beloved child. Today is a new dawn. Great blessings will descend upon you, and never forget, I am your shepherd, and you shall not want. I am your provider. Everything you need will soon arrive. 
I am your healer. I envelop you with my love and offer you health. I am your protector. With my wings, I will cover you, and under the peace of my shadow, you will be safe. My word is truth. My promises are infallible. Everything I have spoken to you, all the wonderful promises I have made, will be fulfilled and become reality because I am God, and my word is faithful. I will guide you by the hand along the path I have chosen. In every moment, in every situation, I am with you. No matter how difficult the situation you face, even if you think a miracle is unattainable, trust in me with all your soul. Entrust me with your plans every day. Put me at the center of your projects. I will always be by your side and help you. I have demonstrated my love even in the darkest days when you thought your sins had separated you from me. Everyone abandoned you. Some criticized you, despised you, and condemned your soul. They spoke of you with words of failure, tried to curse you, wanted to destroy you, and tried to steal your blessing. You felt submerged and thought you were going to perish, but as always, I approached you with understanding, grace, love, forgiveness, and tenderness, and once again, I lifted you from the pit of despair. Do not doubt or falter. Proclaim with your lips that you will trust in me, no matter what happens. You will triumph in all your ways forever. I love you deeply. Do not be anxious. Wonders are on their way to you. Soon the time will come when you will recover many things you lost. You will witness that nothing is impossible for your God. Your destiny is in my hands and only in my hands. I will make you flourish even in barren soil, in places where everyone complains of lack and need, where others have abandoned their hopes. But you, dear child of my heart, in that very place, you will be strengthened. Your dreams will be reborn, and you will rise with certainty toward success. Everything that was done to destroy you, I transformed to improve your life. What seems like a great challenge today will be a tremendous testimony tomorrow. A great miracle is on the horizon. Your prayer was heard. What I desire to give you is much more than what you asked for. Have faith, I will surprise you with unimaginable wonders. Trust in me, even if you cannot see your destiny clearly. No matter how deep you have fallen, my hand is here to lift you. Sometimes I may seem silent, but I am never absent. My hand will hold you until your final victory. My timing is perfect. Now is the time to act. If I tell you to walk, walk. If I command you to rise, rise. If I declare your victory, open your heart to what I am saying and do not cling to past mistakes and sins. The past is behind. Look, I have changed your life. I have transformed you completely. You are no longer the same. Your future is secure in my hands. In my presence, you will be safe and protected. So I tell you again, do not be afraid. Proclaim now with your lips that you believe in me. A time of great blessings is coming for your family and for you. You have kept the faith and remain steadfast. I am eager to bless you. You are ready to receive all the wonders I have specially prepared for you. I also wish for your difficult days to be a thing of the past, for you to shed that feeling of being a failure. Listen well, none of my children will ever be failures. I love, 
care for, prepare, and correct them. If they fall, I lift them up. If they make mistakes, they give me their errors, ask for forgiveness, and I forgive them with infinite love and patience. They rise, shake off the dust, and move forward with faith in my word and eyes fixed on the prize. My sons and daughters may err, but they possess the humility and courage to acknowledge their mistakes, receive my forgiveness, and abandon all feelings of defeat. You have never been a failure. The enemy knows your insecurities and has taken advantage of them to steal from and hurt you, but everything that was stolen from you, I will bring back. I want you to live a life of emotional freedom, to stop blaming yourself for the past, not to punish yourself by denying yourself the opportunity to overcome. I want you to grow even more in your faith and learn to depend even more on me. I challenge you to do what seems impossible because, dear child, I have chosen you to be a channel of blessings for all you love. Therefore, you cannot remain still. You will rise and overcome all the imaginary limitations you have imposed on yourself. Simply accept that you are very valuable to me. The struggles you faced in the past plunged you into emotional misery, but that is history. Your soul was burdened, your spirit crushed, but you learned your lessons. Today, you know how to make wise decisions, choose genuine friendships, and follow the path I designed for you, ready to succeed and enter a new stage of supernatural miracles. The blessings about to arrive will fill you with faith, strength, and joy. Accept them, they are all yours. I will lift you again and continue blessing, healing, and strengthening you so that you fully recover from everything you have been through. I am amazed at your recovery. See how drawing near to me has benefited you. The precious minutes you dedicate to me each day, your prayers and concerns placed in my hands, are invaluable treasures that I will transform into great blessings. If I lift you, you will not fall. If I support you, you will remain standing. You need me every day, and that is wonderful. It does not bother me that you come to me with your struggles and weaknesses, your temptations, your lived situations. I am your creator. I know you completely and know everything you will face. Have you ever wondered, dear one, why so many things have happened to you? Now I will reveal it to you, showing you all the victories you have already achieved. You were uniquely blessed with that burning desire not to follow the crowd. That is how I created you, and that, my child, brought rejection from those who felt the power of my mighty hand upon you. Some hated you without reason, but now you understand everything clearly. Many did not recognize your worth because you simply do not belong to their world. I chose you even before the universe was created. You are here for a divine reason. Some despised you, made you suffer, tried to annihilate you, convinced you that you did not deserve success or joy. But the time for your victory and healing has come. Your enemies will lose strength when they witness your ascent. Now is the time to leave all the bad behind, regrets, guilt, the pressure to please everyone. You are my child, worthy because my blood purified your sins, your heart, and you will always have the right to my unconditional love because I love you deeply and will always be with you. I will not change my mind. Accept this gift with all your heart. Today, I have something special to tell you. I ask you to listen carefully. Do not go away. Do not ignore these words that are for your good. 
I love you intensely and always desire to envelop you with great affection, filling you with sacred comfort so that even in trials, you feel protected, corrected, blessed, and extremely loved because you live in my heart. I need to tell you something crucial for your inner healing. I want you to be aware of the wonderful things I will do. Nothing is impossible for me. In this precious time that you have come to know me, you have received, understood, and believed that my word is authentic and will be fulfilled without fail. However, there is something that is failing, and I am showing it to you, not to discourage you or make you give up. I mention it because if you listen to me and obey, your blessings will multiply enormously. Accept and receive these words. If you want the doors and windows of heaven to open and the way to the divine and supernatural world to be revealed, you must remove all complaints and negativity from your heart. I value your faith greatly, but do not let complaints weaken it. Do not harbor negative feelings or pessimistic thoughts, for they can grow, and before you know it, your wonderful faith may fade. Eliminate complaints from your lips, friendships that bring discord, doubts, and confrontations. Seek wise friends and decide today whether you will believe in me or reject the positive changes and blessings that are about to arrive. If you stop complaining, choose faith, embrace hope, and reject negativity, the heavens, my child, will open for you. If you believe this message can bless others, I invite you to share it. Your contribution is fundamental to reaching more people who, like you, need to hear and be blessed. By sharing it, you will be making a difference and will be deeply blessed for it. It will happen suddenly and when you least expect it. Your heart will leap with joy at the surprise. Those dreams that had died will be resurrected. The hopes you stored away and forgot due to despair will revive. Your life will be filled with faith again. You thought about giving up, feeling breathless from numerous conflicts that made you wish to stop moving forward. But today, I am here to offer you my love and bring you numerous gifts, great joy, and abundant blessings. I heard each of your prayers. You entrusted me with your heart and spoke to me of your despair and how it seemed you had lost the reason to continue. That's why I come running to give you my response. Accept it and live in my love. I hear you, I am real, and I am completely attentive to your needs. These words will lift your spirit and reignite the fire of your determination to move forward. Your journey must continue. Feel love to the point that no obstacle, health problem, financial crisis, loss of property, or unemployment intimidates you. I am here to ease your fatigue so you do not stop now that you are so close, so you do not give up on your destiny. I am the only one with the power, the will, and the knowledge to protect you. I know exactly what you need, and at the right moment, I will provide. From my heavenly throne, I receive the prayers and requests of all who intercede for you. Many people value and pray for your life and your family. If there is someone who despises you and no longer wants to walk by your side, let them go. Do not beg for company. Do not demean yourself to beg for the love of those who look down on you with disdain and arrogance as if they owned your being. You are mine. I do not want you to humble yourself to the point of crawling and crying for the crumbs of love from those who despise you. Your soul belongs to me, and if you believe in my word, I will drive away those who try to lead you to misery and do not love you sincerely. I will lift you in such a way that, upon seeing you, 
They will cry in pain and regret upon realizing the immense value you hold in my eyes. You will experience immense happiness. They will tremble, knowing that by my side, you will have eternal life while eternal punishment awaits them. Blessed are you for listening to me. Never forget my words. Raise your head high, your worth is incalculable. I paid a high price for you. Promise me that you will not give up on your faith. Speak, write, and declare your love for me. Do not limit what I can do. I am capable of miracles far beyond what you can imagine. Do not be influenced by what others think. Do not believe that I only performed wonders in the past. I will not perform miracles in those who boast with my word, feeling superior. Some even invent miracles to demonstrate their false authority. My Holy Spirit does not join the arrogant. I can perform extraordinary and supernatural feats in the sincere and humble heart that knows how to wait and, upon receiving my blessing, knows how to value it with all their heart. I want you to be brave, one of the few who knocks on my door with unwavering faith. Many knock and insist, but deep down, they doubt that anyone is listening. Some give up just as I am opening the door, and others, deceived by the enemy, believe the cruel lie that I do not love them, that miracles are not for them. But look, if you come to knock on my door, it is time to expand your dwellings and reserves. Inform your dear ones, those you trust, that the blessing is on its way. Prepare yourself, but without falling into the trap of debts that will only sink you further. My blessings arrive complete, without interest, without additional debts. I have a gift here, so special, so unique that it can only be yours. Do not ask me for what I have already given to others because for you, I can give much more. Your faith and conviction are what I admire most. I can heal you completely. I can turn your house into a home of eternal harmony. I can mend those friendships and relationships that were broken if that is what you desire. Thank you for paying attention to this message. Now, on the screen of this video, you have received a signal. Allow your intuition to determine what the next divine message you should receive is. I appreciate you for getting this far. Now, we make a special request, share this video with your friends, family, and in at least three WhatsApp groups so that the word of the Lord can more easily reach those who need it. May God bless you.